Hello? Anybody here? Hello? Hello, and welcome to this unboxing and review. Today we're looking at the 1-6 scale figure of Claire from the remastered video game Resident Evil 2. This is by Damn Toys. It's officially licensed from Capcom, the studio behind Resident Evil. Looking at the box, turn it around here. Very good quality. Really impressed with it. Almost like a Hot Toys kind of quality. Never. This is really. I'm thinking this is pretty much my first Damn Toys figure that I can that I'm thinking of. Yeah. So um, it's got tons of accessories from when I've seen it. This is actually I picked this up kind of late in the game. That it's it was sold out, and then at one of my online shops had it on pre-order. Came in, got it. Sold out right right afterwards. As soon as I um, placed the order, I mean a few days later, it was pretty much out of stock. Did pick up the classic edition of Claire, which um, I would probably also do. I haven't received that yet, but I'll be doing a review on that as well. Looking it up, you see as it opens up, shows all the credits of the people behind this figure. It does have a window where you can kind of see the figure of Claire. And since this is loaded with a bunch of accessories, it does have two trays as you pull this as I pull this out. And then there's one more item in there it's a nice little bonus it's a um, i don't know if i probably won't end up taking it out using it it's a background little um diorama uh, display i guess a little background which is kind of cool that nice that they actually include it so that's a little stand you put in the back turn it around it's pretty sturdy and there it is just like i say you clamp on those little two side little holders but i don't think i'll i don't have the room to, to usually actually use that so it'll stay in the box more than likely and let's first, before we look at the figure, let's take a look at Claire. I mean, Claire. Let's take a look at her Claire's accessories. And there's plenty of accessories. Because like I said, in this game, there's a whole bunch of these items that you'll definitely be um, using. And the base, I'm glad they have a base. It's pretty plain. There's no logos or anything, just her name on it. And you can kind of see Capcom is the, the studio. And then there's the crotch grabber right there that goes with that base. And the next item we're going to look at is one of those is the flame round. This is actually for the, I think I believe it's the, it's the grenade launcher. It's the GM79. There's the flame rounds, really nicely detailed. You can see there, and then give you some different perspectives. I kind of use the white box and nice little contrast background. I figured I'd do that a little bit different. And there is the acid rounds, the same, same ones for the grenade launcher, uh, very detailed as well. So yeah, I mean, yeah, I like it. It's got the little strap on there so definitely 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 a good looking piece and there's some more um grenade shells i guess ammo you can actually I'll show it a little later you can actually load those actually in the grenade launcher which is pretty cool so i'll kind of give you a nice look and then there's her, her little pack that she um straps around as she carries all her little all these different things in there so it's a nice little detail little zippers i don't think any of those actually actually unzip didn't try it but very detailed, very nicely um, constructed, very nice. Now we're gonna look at the ammo, the handgun ammo accessories are very detailed, just like the other accessories in this whole figure set. You can see the box art well done. It's an actual little box, opens up. The shells, you can actually pull the shells out. I'll show that here in a second. But yeah, everything about these these little ammo boxes is pretty cool, exactly like in game. But there it is, Show kind of showing a little example of the shells, you can actually take them out of the box. And we got some machine gun ammo here. Again, very well replicated from the end game um, character models or models, what do you want to call it? Um, and then here is the leg holster for Claire. Nicely done as well. Got the straps actually functional. You can actually unhook those and you, you, you can put that on her um, as well. So very good. I mean, I'm very impressed with so far with the, the accessories in this set. And here is a JMB HP3 handgun, as you just saw Claire in action with that handgun. Very well detailed as well. The accessory and the magazine, as you can see, does come out. And it's also included in the additional magazine. And here we got the MQ-11 submachine gun. Another nice little handy weapon you saw in that little footage from the game. The little magazine does also come off, which is cool. And then also you got another 
revolver. I don't believe, I don't, can't recall if I used this particular revolver, this gun in the game. Um, but yeah, again, the detail on this is very nicely done. You can also, the chamber of the gun actually, you see, you can actually move that too. So more very good detail. And here is the LE5 submachine gun. You know, I don't think I've, I didn't play this, use this gun uh, with Claire. I love that stock actually, you can, you know, push it in and out. Very nice detail there. But yeah, as I was saying, I don't think I, I didn't recall playing with this gun with Claire. Not sure if I played it with um, Leon. But yeah, very nice um, detailed gun. And also the, the magazine actually comes out. You can see there's a bullet inside. And also the scope will call, come right off the rail as well. And here is the, the good old grenade launcher. So that's definitely, um, it's the GM-79 grenade launcher. Again, the detail on this is very well done. You know, the stock, the wood there looks real. I mean, it, I mean, it's very nicely done. Like I said, the detail on these on these weapons. Damn Toys does really well on these. I'm trying to think of... They, all, they may actually be really known for their uh, military figures. So if that's the case, I can see why they're really... Um, their, their guns are top-notch in quality and detail. And even the detail goes down as, as far as you can actually pop it up like that. You can actually um, also load one of the rounds which i'll demonstrate here fits perfectly right in there so yeah the detail eh, astounding very nicely done really cool so yeah i'm just gonna pop that out and here's the sls quick loader right there or the speed loader as you say and there is the sls 60 in the game <laughs> Yeah, there it is right there. And um, again, very nice replica of that gun, handgun, the detail, the paint. I got even, even the revolver part just even pops out there. Very nice. And here is the, I want to kind of show you, they also include the, her, the, the radio with the microphone. So very nicely um, that they got the little radio set with that handheld mic. It's actually also too included and there's one of the combat knives again another weapon in the game and there's another combat knife there as with the handguns the knives look very well done even the knife pouch looks very good too there's the first aid spray i mean they even got down to the first aid spray as an accessory which is very impressive really really cool and even the flash grenade they even they include that as well the detail on that is pretty good as it's you know with all the accessories so you know, if someone getting this figure, I know a lot of people sometimes will complain, oh, there's not much accessories. Boy, this one actually is overboard, overloaded. So this is a, this figure, I mean, it's, it's fairly expensive. And I can see with, you know, if it was didn't have all the accessories, I mean, the price could be justified, you know, because of all the different accessories it has on it. Um, and there's the keys. Some of the keys here in your playthrough, you have, to, you have to open certain doors. They even include these as well. And that's very nicely done. And the end game model. It kind of leads us to the actual figure. So here we are with Claire looking at all the, um, just looking at everything on her. Just just an overview on her. She looks pretty, the likeness looks very well well done compared to the in-game model. Um, they did a very, very good job, I, I believe. I'm very impressed with it. I mean, def definitely um, love the look of this character. And I can't remember who the actress that they uh, modeled this from. I can't, um, on top of my head, I can't remember her name, but they've used part of her likeness um, with this character. Definitely a very attractive figure. And there is the, the jeans, nicely tailored with the boots are pretty much one plastic piece. Um, again, just nice detail and pretty close. So like I said, if you look at the, went back and look at the, the in-game model, just you know, did 3D 360 on her, and it's like, yeah, they pretty much got it, did really well in representing the the Claire figure in this in this one six scale representation of her the figure. So, yeah, just kind of articulation not bad. With that jacket, it does restrict a little bit of the the movement and articulation, but overall, just uh, I mean, it looks. I don't want to say it looks more puffy. Some people kind of say it looks like maybe look more puffier than the actual prototype. It doesn't look too bad. I mean, and Overall, like I said, some people may not like the jacket. I mean, the jacket actually will come off, which I'll show later on, because like I said, during the game, she does 
she does take the jacket off and you're actually playing with her with just her with her um, almost like a tank top on her, her top without the jacket but yeah you can just kind of feel the I'm trying to figure if it's, it's a it's a pleather leather um, you know, I'm trying to see the articulation it's not too bad with the jeans kind of tight but yeah I mean the movement is fairly you're going to get pretty decent movement for what it is in those jeans um, there's only so much you can stretch that those legs those figures and you kind of ankles do move a little bit so you can get some you can get some little decent posing on it yeah, even the hands to move those around and so yeah yeah I mean it's it's a good looking figure definitely uh um, let's just say I'm very glad I, I did pick it up um even got the little her little maybe his little necklace in there I'll show some I'll show some close-ups here we'll kind of take a look we'll take a look at the the portrait and kind of see how easy how to unzip it fairly easy you can kind of see definitely she has the her in, under garment there her top yeah just a really just feeling the body see if it's you know what kind of what kind of body is with the um, I don't know it's probably one of their specially developed bodies I think for this particular figure that um, damn toys did See if I can kind of zip it back up, see how easy it is. It is fairly easy. Yeah, just a good looking figure. So let's we'll take a take another gander around it. You see. Yep, no belt on there, but like I said, you'll put the belt on with the with her little pack on there. So here's a close up look at the, the portrait. Very nicely done. The eyes, the paint, how they did the lips. Um definitely the little eyes, a little there's definitely a little sheen to it. The head, the hair, very nicely done. The scope is very clean. Love how they did the hair, just some of the, the swoops. So yeah, it, it definitely does capture the in-game character model. A good representation of her. I mean, some of you may not say it's a hundred percent, but man, it's it's no, there's no just you know, you definitely don't. Um, it's pretty obvious. It, it would, it's it's clear in the game if you saw it. So they did a really good job in that aspect. So I'm, I'm very pleased with the what they've done with the head sculpt, and there's the paint, the ponytail. Yeah, just a really, really good looking figure. So yeah, Claire was one of my first playthroughs in the game, and um, Leon. I didn't pick up Leon. I just, I didn't. I saw the figures. wasn't really. I don't know. And there's the in game, kind of showing you real quick. Just comparison. You kind of see it's pretty close. And look in the back of the actual artwork on the the jacket. Very nicely done. Made in heaven. It says there. So yeah. That's really nice, uh, nice little the capture. Actually, got that on the jacket. So, we'll give another angle there, another full view. And there's her bracelet. Nice that they, they captured, got a little representation of the bracelet you you see in, in game. And you can see that little white spot is actually not a defect. I think that's that's the part of the end of the game. I think that she has that little little wear right there on that jeans, and you kind of see some of the some little wear lines there. So yeah, definitely a little weathered there. Yeah, and get a close look at the the boots. Nice sculpt on the boots, one piece. Yeah, pretty much captures the look of the the actual in-game model for sure. Again with the get another close look at the necklace. Nice detail on there. And the jacket is like I said, it's very nice. We'll get one more get one more straight on view of her. We'll do a 360 here, give a full with all her gear, different poses. And you can kind of see to the right I do have another Resident Evil character. Again, we're going to show the in-game model. Just kind of give you an idea. This is kind of with her flashlight. We kind of dim the light in a little bit and um, just kind of give her that. Just just to capture that look on her. So, yeah, I just very impressed. But I recommend the figure to anybody. If anybody's a big Resident Evil um, fan and they like the remastered edition, I like the character Claire, and this is still available, I think. As far as I know, this is... Um, a lot of retailers are, have sold out on this particular version of Claire. So if you do get it, you might pick it up in a third party. And unfortunately, it'll probably um, the price will probably inflate it compared to retail price. I mean, it's a very exp it's a very expensive figure per se, but even more expensive now. Unfortunately, that she's pretty much sold out from all the, the um, online places that I've seen and I've I've actually purchased figures from. She's completely sold out in this version. Even the classic, I think, is available. Like I said, I just recently ordered that one. That one's on its way right now as we speak. 
yeah, very impressed. I definitely will um, be displaying Claire and one of my Detoffs for sure. And um, definitely will have a home next to one of the other figures and among the other figures I have in my collection. Yeah, just, just a just a really great look of figure. Very attractive portrait. And kind of shows just kind of showing a little bit of the some of the different hand poses on there with the gun. You can kind of see I do have her knife on there. But yeah, I mean, there, there was some, you know, hit or miss. Some people were really complaining. Some, I mean, I heard some things about the jacket. You know, it wasn't, oh, it's not as tight fitting. But, you know, I don't know. I'm okay with it. It is kind of a little, feel a little more puffier. But really, that's, if no one really mentioned that, I probably wouldn't even, even notice it or even, would even care about it. So, I mean, it's just like, it represents her. And like I said, it, and I know us collectors are pretty picky on a lot of different things. And um, especially when you're paying this much money for a particular figure. But overall, I think they actually did pretty, very well. And like I said, this is a, a licensed product, so I'm sure it went to the Capcom. There are people to make sure it was, yeah, okay, it's past muster. Release it, so. But yeah, I'm just very impressed with it. But let's look at the, you can see the, I did take the jacket off. Um, and you kind of see the interior, how it's constructed. At least it's, it's well stitched. I mean, it's um, got a nice soft material in the inside. And you can kind of see all the leather and there she is without the jacket and you can see in the last portion of the game you're pretty much and she's within that that outfit right there with minus the jacket sans jacket no jacket looking at the figure just the overall representation what they've captured with um, damn toys captured of um, claire the in-game figure with this look um, with the halter top the jeans the accessories um, definitely did a, a really good job um, even even down to looking at this close-up for the body you can kind of see it looks like what well, looks like freckles but it's actually dirt real subtle not too much dirt just specks even on their upper forearms you can kind of see there like dirt and even on the some weathering um, even on the halter top there as i'm pointing there there's like looks like little weathering little dirt and stuff so yeah just the detail i think just overall the impression they just definitely captured a good representation of Claire, the end game um, from Resident Evil 2. So thank you for watching, for sticking around. Um, my overall assessment, very impressed with this figure. Glad I have it. And um, do please subscribe for future videos. Until the next one, take care.